What's up, internet? In the beginning, you had high resolutions and low refresh rates or vice versa. But God decided that's no good. The PCMR should have both. And so he created Eve, the company, not the lady, who instead of frolicking with Adam, created the Spectrum. A 27-inch 4K 1 millisecond response time IPS G-Sync monitor. That is a lot of tech to cram into one monitor. And so has Eve succeeded in making a monitor that is fun to both work and play on. Before we find out, you should know the local distributor sent us this item for review on our request, but they had no say in what we had to say about it. What's up, Internet? Mahira pa rin makakuha ng PC parts ngayon, but that doesn't mean you can't get this shirt to remind you of what you still need. Jokes aside, na totoo naman, we made our very first merch to not only reflect our passion for PC building, but to help you teach your friends what you know through the Hardware Sugar PC Anatomy shirt. To order, go to our site or click on the link in the video description. Hover over products and select t-shirts. We have three designs and they come in sizes ranging from small to XL. Press add to cart, select your delivery option and your payment terms. We deliver anywhere in the Philippines, but you can save on the delivery fee by paying and picking it up in our store in Makati. And if you wear it long enough, baka maswertehan ka, and you'll finally get the go signal from your significant other or your parents to finally get that AIO or RTX 3080 that you've been dying for. The Spectrum does remind me of another accessory from the Biblical Eve, and that's the Apple. The Apple of Good and Evil, also known as that company that sells all of those gadgets that start with an I. The Spectrum has a very minimalist, Apple-like aesthetic. For one, it doesn't come with a stand. According to Eve, a lot of users would just prefer to VESA mount their monitor, so the stand is just added cost. I can believe that. Some of my monitors are also VESA mounted. And it is nice that you don't need to pay for something that you won't actually be using. If you do get the stand, it is very solid and very minimalist as well. The Spectrum also doesn't come with any cables. No HDMI, no display port. We've shipped the monitor without cables. Ah, uh, okay. So just so you know. Yeah, at least they're upfront. Again, very Apple-like in its aesthetic. This was an annoyance. You do expect your monitor to come with the cables that it needs for you to be able to use it out of the box. But I very quickly found an extra DisplayPort cable. So it is just a minor annoyance rather than a game stopper. And I am in favor of these things that lets us cut back on our tech waste. The monitor itself is slim, compact, and unobtrusive. Again, it sort of just melts into the background instead of being a look at me kind of display. Even the unboxing experience is very Apple with its pull out compartments and its designed for you triumphalism. And to be clear, I am not an Apple fan, but the whole minimalist thing works for me and it does give the Spectrum a very premium feel. Finally, I also appreciated how the Spectrum settings weren't cluttered with a lot of options that a lot of users won't use. I feel that monitor manufacturers are kind of insecure where they're like, I need to cram different features that need to be enabled in the setting via a very hard to use menu that, you know, maybe 80% of users won't bother with. Walang ganun na kalokohan sa Spectrum. It just has the basic settings like brightness, contrast, which I feel is all you really need if the monitor quality is good. That said, I did have to adjust the Spectrum settings for my personal taste. I make a big deal out of monitors that I really like because they come out of the box with settings that are just right for the average user. That wasn't my experience with the Spectrum. I did need to make it brighter, maybe pump up the contrast a little bit to get it right for my taste. But because the menu was so simple, that was easy to do. Assembly was easy, settings were easy, so finally, how did this thing perform? Pretty damn good. It actually lives up to the hype that its specs generate. Gaming was smooth and tear-free. I tried it out first on older games like Left 4 Dead 2, which don't support 4K, but would allow me to see that blistering refresh rate. And the Spectrum was able to keep its display silky smooth. Again, no tearing, no jagged screen cuts, no nothing. How it's like in real life to move your head around is what it was like playing FPS on the EVE Spectrum. Like Warrior 5 Mercenaries, a much newer game, was very pretty with the associated explosions and particle projection cannons. Everything looked great. 
everything looked very vivid. For gaming, I really don't have any complaints with this monitor. All of the specs came together for a very satisfying experience. And the same is true for editing and video watching. Images were so crisp and clear that in 4K, you could really see all of the sad imperfections of the guy on camera. Every little detail is disturbingly noticeable. All of this quality is doubly impressive because EVE is a young company with a crowdfunding background. It's a new kid on the block which doesn't have the same name as let's say Samsung, LG, or ASUS, which makes this very quality product quite an achievement really. And it's really nice to see young blood pushing specs forward. All of the good things being said, I do have to note that the color on the spectrum didn't pop quite as much as some of the other 4K 240Hz monitors that I've tried. The color gamut on the spectrum just seemed a little bit duller in comparison. Now this is actually good for professional photographers or video editors who don't want a lot of processing in their image. They want the color as natural as possible so that they can be the ones to apply their color correction. But primarily as a gamer, I was just looking for a bit more oomph in the display. I am in the minority with this opinion and again, MechWarrior 5 mercenaries in particular displayed beautifully. But to my eyes, the display was just a tad bit less lustrous, a bit dimmer, a bit less pop compared to some of the other monitors with similar specs that I've tried. Price-wise, it is a little heavy for this monitor at around 48,000 for the monitor, then another 5,000 or so for the stand. Although you'd be hard pressed to find a monitor with these specs for that price. So actually for what you get, it's already quite good. And the Spectrum is readily available. We don't carry it on stock at present, but you can custom order it from us if you're interested. Bottom line, this is a very capable monitor which amazingly does all of the specs it has on the side of its box. It's an especially good choice for content creators that spend a lot of time editing but want to game as well. Or if your content is gaming, then this monitor will slot in perfectly into your workflow. God wanted us to have the best of both worlds and now we do with the EVE Spectrum. Thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tungo puan nato. De jok lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, Richard Ongkinko, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.